David, how's the mood in the, the dressing room after that? Obviously, it was a, a really good Rangers performance, but a couple of chances in the second half. Yeah, obviously, we're happy in a way, but disappointed as well. You know, the second half, we got a couple of chances while Fredo, uh, two headers, and, and I don't think they had many in the second half, I'm being honest. They had a couple in the first, but sometimes you do need to ride your luck at times, especially when you come away here. Um, but I thought we could have won that game. How did you enjoy getting out on the, the pitch today, and what was going through your head when you saw Bruno go down? Obviously, I just... Uh, I was sitting watching the game, I was saying, I've seen Bruno wave, oh, oh, it's about right, I need to get out, so I ran down, got warmed up, you know, it's not, not a long warm up is it, and then you're back on the pitch and going, in, going on in a game, it's, it's tough, I mean, you know, everyone's up to speed, especially an old firm game, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and uh, so going into a game's hard, and, um, but I've done well, I've done well when I came on, and I thought all the, the whole boys, everybody's done well, so... <laughs> I was giving you a bit of stick up yeah, there, yes. but uh, when you, as you say, you went on the pitch. How much does the likes of Tav help you? The likes of Danny Wilson yeah. as well, who was outstanding again today. Yeah, I got on with Danny really well. Um, I played with him a lot last year. I've came in, I played against well, with him at Aberdeen first half, and obviously Kelly. So I know Danny well, and he talks to me through the game, and Tav especially as well. He's, he's always on the case to me, yeah. but you know he always just try to help me out and just try to help the team and, and try to defend as well as we can. And I think we did that today especially. Um, Good tackles with Tav, not getting beat down the line, one v one situations. So yeah, it's brilliant. How pleasing in particular was the, the second half performance? People might have thought the Rangers might tire coming to, to Parkhead and obviously Celtic being the home side, yeah. but Rangers really were fantastic in that second half. Yeah, it's, well, it's an old fun, so you know anything can happen. You know? So <coughs> the second half we came out, and we knew we knew in the first half that we raided their pressure and we could go out and we could we could win this. Um, but. The second half, obviously, the boys did tire. I mean, they tired as well. You could see that their, their defensive line dropped off, and that's when the gap started uh, appearing. But it's just disappointing not to get three points. How did you enjoy the experience of playing at Celtic Park and the Rangers fans who were there with the team from start to finish? Yeah, it's a great atmosphere. Obviously, the Rangers fans coming here, everyone's everyone's up for it. Um, all the boys in the chain room up for it. It's just that one of the games that you, you just can't wait to come around. Um, but it's been brilliant. Played in the obviously the semi final last year, but I've never played here before in old fan, so it was great. And to walk away with the, the man of the match, Champagne, <laughs> as well. A, a great experience for you coming yes. here, an enjoyable experience as well, and, and one you'll look back on fondly, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. It's about just, just putting a shift for the team. You just want to do well as a team and, and try try win, try try get what you can at the game. And uh, obviously, coming away with the man of the match, it's, it's, it's a good thing for me, and obviously, my family will be happy, so it's good. And a wee bit of a break for the, the team yeah. now, so just a chance to, to maybe to recharge the batteries, go away to Florida as well, then come back and, and really kickstart it again. Yeah, especially with Mutch, uh, Gaffer, um, <laughs> just, uh, uh, he can put his bit of imprint into the team now. He's got that three weeks, the three weeks, about that three weeks to the next game. So he can put his own own stamp on the team, especially in Flo Florida. Um, he's got a, a real chance to get us fitness-wise up and his real stamp on the team. So can't wait to get started.